So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today's video is pretty simple. Thunder Dragon, Pendulum, Fluffles, all three combined. The Madman's back at work. Five negates, easy, easy. You're gonna see this hand right here. As you see, plain and simple, look at our hand. We only have one pendulum in our hand. We only have one pendulum in our hand. Someone look at this hand and say, yo, what kind of brick ass deck are you playing, bro? You got a Thunder Dragon in your hand. You got a Fuffle in your hand. You got an Apex Avion in your hand. You got a Terraforming and an Abductor. That looks like a brick. But let's show you how there's a five negates. Cause you are playing the best deck. But at the end of the day, every hand's five negates. This is a, not even that good of a hand, and it's five negates. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys now this replay. I was just testing it myself just to see the power of the deck. There's too much raw power in the deck. Like, there's really too much. If you ash the Thunder Dragon there, big deal, bro. I'm just going to pen four and then put four negates up. Like, the deck's too good. Over here, we're going to have a brand of Toy Vendor. Uh, Ter Sky Iris and Toy Vendor have a very... I told you guys, Dark Worm and Toy Vendor was Exodia. Sky Iris and Toy Vendor is also Exodia. Toy Vendor works so well with this deck, which is why you play nine ways to get it. And at the very end, you get a free scale at the end. You get the free scale eight for completely free. Like, literally, just a free pop. It's a plus one, plus two if you open double two bubbles. It's just insane. So, here we get the bubble dog because we're going to normal summon. Or we're going to get a chrono and then bubble dog to ensure we get the bubble angel for free. And we get a free level one of the field of bubble dog completely for free. That's all as evolution dragon there. Not 100% necessary in this play. We don't really need it. But it just uh, it's pretty cool. To, we could get another negate. We could get Honest Persona Dragon. Would have res result in the same thing. But I think it's a lot cooler to just go over Dark Worm here, get the plus one and gate zero, and then we simply go into Electro. This deck is too good. It does the exact same thing every single turn. Uh, if you hit the Electro here, no problem. You're just gonna pen five. You know what I mean? Like most people save the hand trap for Electro. So look at let's, let's take a little moment here and just just watch and uh, witness true greatness uh, in myself. What happens if they go Soaker Electro here? No problem. Summon up level Angel, pen 5, they're all 1 card negates. Double Colossus, Avion, Jackal, 4 negates after hand trapping my Electrum. It's all good. Hand traps do not affect this deck. The only ha hand trap that affects this deck is Droll and Lockburn. But there's also a lot of times you can put up an Apex, Avion, or a Jackal on board before you even uh, have, give them an option to Droll you. So it's like, hand traps really don't do anything. You can stop hand traps with Avion and Jackal in terms of the, if it's the Droll, but if it's any other hand trap, you just Blitzkrieg through it because it doesn't affect you whatsoever. You still pen the one card negates. You can't, there's no hand trap that says, do not pen summon uh, Avions and Thunder Dragons from your hand. They're one card negates and just destroy people and Jackals and Persona Dragon. So we're gonna keep going here. We're just gonna get a little plus, uh, the, the draw. We get a free draw, we drew into Avion, it's all good. We play 21 one card interruptions in the deck in a 45 card deck. One in every two cards we're gonna draw is a one card interruption. So a 50% chance we're gonna draw one card interruption. So we drew an Avion. Like the chances, there's a 50% chance and we just went through the whole deck. So now it's even more, probably 55% chance that we're gonna draw one card interruption and we did it. So that's the deck, that's just what it does. The new version of this deck is remarkable. And just like that, we got four cards on board. Like the deck's too good that we don't even know, we're gonna link away for no reason. That's how good the deck is right now. Like we're gonna link away Gazer and Bubble Dog into a nightmare card just to go into Metaltron to create more space, to pen some and everything. Boom, look how simple it is. The new game plan is unbelievably simple, man. Unbelievably simple. He's got a low skill, or like a gate zero and Fuffle Angel. Like I said, remember these cards I told you? Gate zero and Fuffle Angel, they're free scales. Every turn you get them for completely free. You're gonna plus a lot, draw a lot, thin out the deck, draw some more one card interruptions. Thunder Dragon equals two interruptions. And we got four of them over here. You guys see two Avion, two Thunder Dragon? But there's 21 cards like this in the deck. There's 21. So if it wasn't Avion, it's gonna be Jackal. So we could have had double Jackal, Avion, th th double Thunder Dragon. But now look at this. It's this simple. This, the, th the new way to play this deck, even rookies could play, even noobs could play it. And a lot of people are telling me, yo, Steven, your old decks are too complicated, bro. Like, you need to understand Pendulum's really well to play it. Not these versions. The versions are now just for both pros and noobs. Like, they work fantastic together. And you simply just pen five. Uh, we put the Thunder Dragon in the wrong place. So we're just going to switch out the Thunder Dragon and the Avion. We put them in the wrong place. Boom. Just like that, look at that. Pen five. We're going to use Thunder Dragon in our hand to get two more. So we activate Thunder Dragon's effect. Boom. Double Colossus. Look at that. Two Avion, two Colossus, and a Jackal. The Colossus are protected three times by three Thunder Dragons. It's remarkable. 
and we have a card in hand, and I'm doctor for next turn, and Maltron's gonna give you another card. And Bubble Angel could still pension, could still special summon a Bubble Dog from a graveyard. So like, bro, next turn you're starting with the card you draw, so two cards. Metatron's gonna give your cards three cards. Abductor's gonna give your cards four cards. Next turn you're starting with four cards. The two avions are going back to your hand. You're gonna start with six cards next turn, and you got five negates on board. This is literally the best deck known to mankind. You're welcome for a living, all right? Next, this is duel number one. I'm not gonna show you guys another duel, showcasing Thunder Dragons in action. So you guys see in the first duel, utter obliteration, and that's what happens when you play Pendulum, Thunder Dragon, Fuffles. Now with this hand, Unfortunately, we don't got any Fuffles, but you know what? It's all Gooch. We did open Thunder Dragons, so we're going to show you guys now the power of the Thunder Dragons. Let's go. So we discard Thunder Dragon, add two more, plain and simple. Hopefully, we're going to draw into a Fuffle. Typically, when you go through your deck, your Electrum Draw is going to give you a Fuffle, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, fuffle just gives you so much more plusing. It's unreal plusing. It helps so much. Here we do Chrono Dark Room, get gate zero, and... We kept the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum because we don't have Fuffles to get the Fuffle Angel to put in scale, right? So you do need the high scale. The reason why this deck's so good is there's so many one-card interruptions. For example, the Thunder Dragons, Avions, if we draw it, uh, Persona Dragons, Jackal, etc., etc., Cerberus, Iris. So many one-card interruptions and so many ways to get a low scale and a high scale. All the nine Fuffle cards get you Fuffle Angel plus Fuffle Angel itself. So ten scale eights like, gets you that one scale for free. All the ways to go into Dark Room, we got like 11 to get you a free gate 0. So you get a free scale 8, free scale 0. And then Sky Iris will get you a scale 1 or scale 8. There's so many ways. to get, uh, Audit Revolution will get you a scale 1 or scale 8. There's so many different ways. And then the generic Pendulums. So many different ways to get a, scale one, a low scale or high scale. It allows you to play the one kind of interruptions. Hence making your game plan a lot more simpler than it has to be. Why do 50 million plays for, four, for 5 negates? But you can just pen summon 5 negates and watch your opponent squirm. There's not much reason to overthink or overdo your play. When you, as long as you have the low scale and high scale, it's all good. There's not much thinking required. It's the best deck. Now, as you see here, we got the low scale, we got the high scale. We got the double Thunder Dragon. But now, we do want to create some space on the field. So we're going to send a Cerberus. Because with Thunder Dragons, you're going to need space for Colossus. So we're going to send a Cerberus. We're going to pop the Sky Iris to get the Cerberus. To get us a free draw off Electrum. And to get us a Metaltron. Before you make a second Electrum at this point with a Chronograph, right? But it's banned. So we just simply use Cerberus, Jackal, get a Metaltron and draw a card from Electrum, Apex Avion. That's the deck now. You, we went through the whole deck. We, we just went, we just went through the deck. It's already a 50% chance to draw one card interruption. And we drew Apex Avion. Your Electrum's draw has a higher than 50% chance after going through it, maybe 55% chance, to draw one card interruption. So that's why I always try to use the AV on uh, the Electrum uh, draw. If go out of your way if you have to to do it, because most likely you're gonna get another negate through Electrum's draw, because there's a higher than fifty percent chance of drawing it. So if you don't draw it, it's okay. But most typically you're gonna draw one card negate, which is fantastic. So here, plain and simple, like I said, don't overthink your, your game plan. We pen five. We got two two Thunder Dragons, an Apex AV on, and two Jackals. The issue here is we won't be able to make double Colossus, so we're gonna turn the two Jackals into Naruto. That way, ensuring that we're going to, just like that with Naruto, ensuring we're going to get space for the second Colossus. So now, boom. Just like that. Avion, double Colossus, Naruto. That's, it's incredible, man. Like, this is too real in the game. Like, Avion, like, this is better than the OG boards. Remember, remember the Adderall pendulums that I made? Remember the triple electrum, electrum, uh, triple electrum pendulums I made? The end board was four negates anyways. Look at this. This is double Colossus. Apex Avion, which is the Vortex, and a Naruto. You're negating double evenly for those cocks that say, do double evenly. You negate it twice, and you got Colossus, you can't search for anything. And you protect your Colossus with triple Thunder Dragon. This is insane. And you got skills for next turn. Metatron's gonna give you another card. It's remarkable. Like, this deck is truly remarkable. I love this deck. It is the best version of Pendulums right now. And it literally does the exact same thing Pendulums used to do before. It does the exact same thing Pendulums used to do before. You just have to change the game plan. Pendulums will never die. I've been telling you guys this. You just have to you adapt. You adapt to the system, to what's happening. You adapt to the gate, to the ban list. You just change your game plan around, and you're still putting up four negates, five negates every turn. Yes, this list is OCG. But why don't we look at the OCG cards I used here? Oh, wait. None. There are no OCG cards. There are no OCG cards. 
There are no OCG cards in this board that I'm using to make this board whatsoever. It is a TCG legal board. The OCG cards I use are just for extra pluses that aren't fully necessary. Next video I'm going to do is going to be showcasing, or maybe not next, but one of the next few videos I'm going to do is going to be showcasing this deck with a pure TCG variant with no OCG cards whatsoever so you guys can see how this will still take over the meta right now. I just made it with the OCG version because it's just a lot more powerful and a lot more consistent. The TCG version is still fantastic. We just take out the bump muzzle in the TCG version and add in our boys Wisdom Eye and the Magicians to make it a little more co uh, consistent in terms of scales to ensure that every single turn has three or four negates no matter what. This is what you guys see. I'm going to head out to play some games with my boys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Four negates, five negates every single turn, no matter the hand. Pendulums forever. What can I say? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Peace.